Hi, this is Stephen Rosell. I'm a product manager on the My team, and I wanted to talk about a feature that kind of flew under the radar for Maya 2020 related to rigging. So in previous versions of Maya, this is actually Maya 2018, but it applies to 2019 as well. If I were to take a character, deform him, and then if I wanted to use a secondary deformer to maybe do some corrective effects, so in other words, like here where it's kind of stretching, I can use something like a tension deformer to fix that. However, in the past, I'd always have to go to the bind pose. So what will happen in older versions of Maya, if, it's, if, if I select the mesh that's already deformed and then I apply a tension deformer, it doesn't seem to do anything. It gives me a node. Uh, I can go in and I can bump up uh, some values here and nothing really happens. It's actually happening, but it's not visible because I'm in the pose uh, where I created the deformer. If I were to go in and take these joints and then just simply rotate those back, what you'll see quickly see is that now I have kind of a mess here in this area. So what's happening is that it's actually applying the deformer relative to that posed state. So now if I were to go in and go back to that state, then it will look fine. But if I go into any other pose, essentially, it's not going to look correct. So it looks fine there. But then now as I go into this other pose, it, it uh, applies the, the tension deformer and gives me this really uh, undesirable effect. So for an example, you'll see a rigged character here that I've got into this pose. And as I kind of push this pose into uh, something a bit more extreme, what you'll see is I've got a lot of distortion on this area right here. So I've got this decal, this uh, text that's basically stretching and distorting in this uh, kind of unexpected or undesirable way. Now, to fix this in the past, what I would have to do is I would have to decouple the rig or temporarily disable the rig, and I would have to put the character back into a bind pose, which is typically like a T pose. Then I would have to apply the deformer, and then I would have to reconnect the rig and repose the character. So it's a lot of steps, it's very cumbersome. Now in Maya 2020, you can avoid all that. So basically I can take my mesh that's already posed, already deformed. I can go into my deformer list here and I can create something like a tension deformer. And a tension deformer will alleviate these problems. You saw it happen right there where it basically kind of redistributed the distortion of that. And I can bump this up, maybe add a smoothing step of like maybe 0.8 and that even uh, enhances that uh, even further. So now you can see now when I deform this character, I get a much more desirable deformation of that kind of decal area. So this works similarly with other types of deformers. So for instance, let's say I were to t take the leg and let's just kind of do a, a really kind of you know extreme pose here where I'm kind of pushing these a little bit farther maybe than I would even need to for animating. Uh, but what you can see here is I've got this weird distortion in the hip where it's kind of caving in on, on the hip bone there. Uh, again, in the past, in order to fix that with something like a delta mush, I would have to actually disable the rig or disconnect the rig, go to the bind pose and so on. Now in the deformed state, I can just come in here and apply a delta mush and bam, it starts to kind of smooth out those, those problematic areas. Now it's not gonna fix it 100%, but that's not really the point. The main point here is that I'm able to apply this deformer without having to decouple the rig and without having to go back into the bind pose. So now you can see I've got my skin cluster, I've got my tension deformer, I've got my delta mush deformer, uh, all on the same character uh, applied correctly without having to go through hoops in order to get that done. Now the way this is working under the hood, if you'll just bear with me here, I'll go into the node editor and let's just find a couple of these deformers. I've got a lot of nodes, obviously, but let's just find, for instance, the delta mush deformer, and then I'll just graph everything upstream of that delta mush. There we go. So what you'll see here is that the delta mush deformer and the tension deformer have an input coming from the original shape. This is called leather suit. Uh, that's that mesh that I was deforming. And if I take these nodes and expand them, what you're going to see is there is a new input called original geometry. So the delta mush as well as the uh, tension now have this input called original geometry. And this can be, uh, you can have as many of these as you need to, depending on how many meshes you're deforming. But essentially what's happening is each mesh is passing its rest state to the deformers. So the deformers know exactly what the shape was before it was ever deformed. So this means you don't have to disable all the other deformers. You don't have to disable 
uh, a, a rig and whatnot in order to apply these because they can keep track of it. Okay, that wraps it up. I hope everybody can make use of that. Good luck. Take care. Bye.